Yo, what's going on, dudes? In today's video, we are going to be attempting the impossible, and we are going to be trying to be Elite Blunarius on the map Geared. So this map should be pretty tough, guys, because obviously the map is going to be rotating the entire game. So we're going to need to spend a lot of money on our defense just so we can make it to round 40. So this is going to be a really interesting challenge to see if we can actually be Elite Blunarius on the map Geared. All right, so the first thing we're going to start off with, we're going to go ahead and grab our Benji boy. And let's go ahead and place our Benjamin right here. That way he's out of the way when we start to like place down farms and stuff. Now, a big question that I'm having is, can we afford to buy a farm before we need to buy more towers as a defense? I think one of the towers that I'll buy for a defense is going to be like a monkey ace because with the wing monkey, our monkey ace should be pretty good at dealing with the first couple of rounds, hopefully. All right, dudes, and here we are uh, on round five, and now we need to buy a little bit more of a defense because obviously our dart monkey isn't going to be able to last much longer. So what I think I want to do is I want to place maybe my monkey ace up here like this. That way we can hopefully fit a farm right underneath it. Dude, I really don't use the monkey ace too much, but wing monkey is actually kind of cracked. All right, so time for our first farm. Let's go ahead. Um, No, so our wing monkey is going to be interfering just a little bit, but that's fine. All right, so far by round 15, we have three farms up, but the balloons are starting to give us a little bit of a harder time. So we're going to go ahead and grab rapid fire, and then I think I'll buy lots more darts as well. All right, so round 20, I think it's about time we start going for that druid. So let's go ahead and grab a druid. We'll upgrade it up to... Uh, thorn swarm heart of oak and then we'll grab a druid of the jungle as well and then we'll go ahead and start working on buying some more farms all right guys so round 27 i think i went a little bit overboard with the amount of farms that i grabbed but i kind of lost track and wasn't really paying attention to how many farms i had because i was just mainly focusing on our defense to make sure that we didn't lose too many lives all right dudes so here we are on round 39 i've been doing a little bit of thinking and i think what i want to do is i want to do our tax zone right here and then I'll grab like a Embrittle right here as well. And then we'll grab a Monkey Village and maybe an Alchemist to go ahead and buff up our tax zone. And this might end up working out pretty well for us. So here's our Embrittle. And then we'll grab ourselves a Village, upgrade it up to Primary Training. Actually, you know what could work out really well? What if we grab Primary Mentoring to increase our tax zone's range? I think that's going to be a really good play. But in order to do this, we need to sell a couple more farms. Hopefully this works. So we also need something in the back to take care of all of the ceramic balloons. Oh no, guys. I think I might need to sell all of my farms because I'm thinking about what I should go for. And the only thing I have in my mind is what if I went for like a uh, plasma accelerator? And with the plasma accelerator, would it be able to deal with all the ceramic balloons inside of the elite boss balloon? Because the big thing with like the plasma accelerator is at least it has global range. So we can pop the balloons no matter where they're at. All right, I made my choice and we're going to go with the Plasma Accelerator. I think that's the best option that we have right now. So, moment of truth, guys. Are we going to be able to deal with it? I don't want the... Oh, no, we ended up popping that balloon. Oops, uh, we need to take care of these. Uh, take care of all these balloons. Oh, my goodness, guys. Like, we're not even dealing damage to, to the boss yet because we're already through the rounds. All right, there we go. Now we're starting to do damage to the ag actual boss itself. All right, and we're about to have our first little taste of these ceramic balloons. All right, come on, come on, please. Let's deal with all these balloons. Oh, we did it. All right, so that's the first tier down. Uh, I should probably go for this. Oh, no, please, 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 please. No! Oh, we lost a lot of lives there, but it's fine, guys. It's perfectly fine. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll grab ourselves another druid to give us a little bit more support. We'll grab a jungle's bounty, and then we'll grab another jungle's bounty here in a second. Oh, no, it's not in range of our... No! <laughs> this is exactly what I was worried about. All right, all right. So we need to sell this, and then we need to come back over here. Oh my goodness, guys. What are we doing? All right, so here's this. Uh, overdrive, and then we'll sell this. Oh my goodness, guys. We just messed up big time. Oh no, we just lost. Oh, <laughs> uh, what are we going to do? All right, guys. So we have $56,000 to work with. So we have a good chunk of change. But again, I just don't know what would work out well here, right? Because if we go... Oh, dude, I wonder if we go with an elite sniper. Like if we go with an elite sniper, if it can deal with all of these ceramic balloons, I think that's what I think that's what we're gonna try. So we have an elite defender. Let's grab large caliber and then we'll put it on first, and then to deal with the actual boss itself. Hmm. I wonder if we just went with like a bunch of sticky bombs. If the sticky bombs would work out well. You know what? Let's try the attack zone again, and this time we'll place our attack zone right here. All right. Moment of truth. Um, I should I should probably place my attack zone a little bit further back next time. All right. Now, let's see how our... Oh, dude, it's not, it, it doesn't even stand a chance. Um, All right, so Elite Defender, definitely not a good play. What other towers have global range? What if we went with the Spectre, guys? 
Like, hear me out for a second. If we went with the Spectre, would this be enough to take down the Ceramic Blooms on the inside of the boss? That's the real question. And then we'll go with the attack with the attack zone strat again. But this time we'll place our attack zone like probably like right here. That way it's a little bit further back, more towards the boss. All right, moment of truth. We can go ahead and speed through this. Oh my goodness, it's already whipping super bad. Uh, let's swap this over to uh, Wing Monkey. All right, and can it deal with these ceramic blues? Oh, not super close, but it can actually do it. Nice. Um, but now it's really far away from all the balloons, so no, it's not gonna work. Hmm. Oh wait, with the Wing Monkey, can't I, or with the Monkey Ace, can't I like target where it sits? I think that's the thing, right? All right, guys, so here we are with a similar defense. The only difference is I made it so my Spectre was in the very back here. And hopefully by having my Spectre over on this side of the map, I won't need to worry about him whipping any of his shots. So attempt number three. All right, come on, Spectre, don't let me down. I just need you to pop the Ceramic Blues as soon as we pop the or er, the... All right, yes, it's working. It's working much better this time. Oh yeah, so this is all we need to do is we just need to put our Spectre in the very back of the map. Now, the next question is, do I have to sell my tax zone? I do need to sell my tax zone now. So let's move our tax zone over here. And there we go. Right, we are having a couple of issues with camo blues, but hopefully it won't affect us for too much longer. And we need to resell this and we need to move our tax shooter back here. Let's go ahead and move it towards the back of a blue Uh Looks like we aren't going to have enough money to buy tax zone again. Mm, let's buy, let's sell our druid and buy the tax zone one more time. All right, there we go. Oh, we're loot. We're missing out on so much cash, guys. Uh, we're good. We're good. All right, cool. So now that this is beat, let's go ahead and we'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. We'll sell our specters. Sell this, and we need to rebuy our farms. All right, so we'll rebuy our druid as well, and we'll do hard thorns on top of that. Oh my goodness, I think instead of going for the Operation Dark Storm, I'm also going to grab a second Monkey Ace. And with this Monkey Ace, we'll do our tried and true Nevamiss. And with these two Monkey Aces, we shouldn't struggle in actually popping any of the balloons. All right, then we have $2,000. I know I'm overspending on defense here, guys, but we definitely need it. There we go. And then we'll buy our village. We'll go bigger radius and then jungle drums and then grow blocker and then radar scanner. There we go. Now we need more farms. Now we just focus on nothing but farming. And it's already round 48. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, this may have been another mistake. <laughs> All right, dudes, round 59. We have $48,000 to work with. And I've been debating on what I should do here. And I think a good option for us is to go with the mad. Now, I generally don't go for the mad because it's really expensive. And it's not really good at dealing with ceramic blooms. But if we do this and we grab our Spectre again, uh, we should have enough money for the mat again, and we don't need to sell too many farms. I think this might actually be the play this time. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see if we got it. Uh, slow it down a little bit. That we can buy Lit Aether Shock, and we'll go ahead and put this so we're targeting it ourselves. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so bad. All right, and Rocket Storm. Oh my goodness, guys. This is not what I expected. All right, let's go ahead. We'll buy Jungle's Bounty and then we'll buy Spirit of the Forest as well. Spirit of the Forest should be able to help us out quite a bit. Mm, there we go, Spirit of the Forest. Come on. Oh, please, Spirit of the Forest like fills up the entire track and then the Spirit of the Forest. And then I don't need to worry about like any of the balloons slipping by because of Spirit of the Forest. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have these. And then I want to go with like a Glaive Lord, but we can't really afford a Glaive Lord because it'll just end up going around the track. And no, so with the Spirit of the Forest, it does change. So every time the map like switches, uh, the thorns will become weaker and weaker. I'm actually thinking that maybe Mad wasn't the right call, guys. Uh, we're so close. $40,000. Oh my goodness, guys. This is not going very well at all. Um, are we actually going to be able to pop them before they leave? We are? How? All right, all right. So this time we need to time our ability a little bit better. Activate the ability? Nope. All right, so the mat is definitely not the play, guys. Mat is definitely not the play. So call me a little crazy here. I've never actually tried this, but I wonder how the Flying Fortress would do against the uh, Tier 2 Elite Blunarius. 
I honestly have no idea. Like, will it work or will it just like absolutely just not do well at all? I have a, it looks like it's doing about as much damage as the bad balloon or the mad, to be honest. Uh, what if we also upgraded this one to the sky shredder to give us a little bit more damage as well? All right, so sky shredder and the flying fortress. Oh my goodness, we're wasting so much money here just to beat the tier two. Now I can't buy anything else. I just need to hope that these two towers are enough to take down the tier two elite balloon areas. All right, guys, to be honest, it did way better than I thought it would. Uh, we ended up beating it on round 67, so our money isn't setting very good at all. But we will keep our Sky Shredder on, on the screen, and we'll go for Banana Central now. And then let's go ahead and grab ourselves an Engineer to go ahead and get a little bit more money pump pumping from our Banana Central. But we only have 13 rounds left until we have to deal with the Tier 3, which we're going to need the Apex Plasma Master for that one, hands down. All right, dudes, around 79, we have round 80 coming up next, and I'm gonna be making this Dark Monkey the Plasma Master. I don't know if this is a good play or not, but we'll go ahead and see here in a second. Uh, how many of these farms do I need to sell? Uh, am I gonna have enough money with just my BRFs to buy the Apex Plasma Master? I think I might, to be honest. Um, we need another, what, 10,000? Uh... 91,000 oh no we need to also sell our sky shredder it looks like i will sell this and then apex plasma master we definitely need this and then what i think i'll do is i'll end up rebuying the sky shredder oh no i'm not gonna be able to rebuy it right away uh so our only other option is to buy a specter as soon as we have enough money to buy it there we go um, and then let's slow this down just a touch. We'll do center path over here. Oh, and of course, there are DDT balloons and bad balloons. Oh my goodness, this is an absolute mistake, guys. Tier three, and we already have DDT balloons to deal with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I think I may have bit off just a little bit more than I could chew this, this, this time, guys. Uh, but luckily, our Apex Plasma Master is an absolute chad. Uh, oh my goodness, dudes. <laughs> those ceramic blues made it all the way over here so i just need us to pass through more rounds so our apex is further along in the track because i'd much rather have the apex ahead of blue Nerys than behind him it was a big gamble but i think the gamble is gonna pay off for us guys all right next thing we want to do let's go ahead and buy ourselves another banana farm we're almost out to the final tier guys and then I'm debating whether or not I want to keep my Apex Plasma Master on the screen. I don't think I do, guys. That way we can rebuy all of our farms. And then we'll buy, like, Flying Fortress or something like that. There we go. All right. Now we can go ahead. We can sell. All right. We'll sell our Apex. We'll sell this Monkey Ace. We'll place this Monkey Ace right here. And then hopefully we can fit an Alchemist here as well. Perfect. All right. And then with this one, we'll grab a Spectre, Flying Fortress, and then we'll grab Spy Plane because we really can't buff it with a Village. Uh, I actually bought Perma Brew, but oh well. Uh, we just need to buy the rest of our Banana Farms, and then we'll be good to go. I mean, I bought worse things in, in my life. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of an extra Perma Brew. All right, dude, so round 100, I have my Apex, or actually, I didn't buy it. All right, so now I have my, a my Apex at degree 30. Um right away guys i don't think this is going to be enough to take down the oh dudes do i really need the goliath doom ship to take down the tier four boss um either the goliath doom ship or i'm going to need the glaive dominus as well oh my goodness yup this was definitely a mistake all right so let's go ahead and restart from round 100 no way are we going to be able to beat this all right so i'm going to try to buy a super brittle to see if this is going to make it a, di a difference or not nope because the super brittle just got a range of the boss Oh my goodness. All right, let's grab a Embrittle, I guess. And hopefully the Embrittle will help us out a little bit. It looks like our Apex is now over here. And our Super Brittle is even further away from the boss. Let's grab, uh, let's go ahead and sell that Super Brittle and do it to this one. How are we going to do 8 million damage to the boss with just this? I almost think that we're going to need the Goliath Doom Ship just to take out the tier 4. But I was hoping to get more tiers on, or more pops with my Flying Fortress before I went for the Goliath Doom Ship. All right, all right. So we're gonna need to try a new plan of attack, guys. Wow. So we have barely enough money to buy the Goliath Doom Ship. And if we just did it like this, our Goliath Doom Ship would be like a, a tier one. Oh my goodness, guys. This is, this is not looking good. 
All right, I guess we can sell all of these and then we'll buy a bunch of... Oh my goodness, guys. This is such a mistake. All right, so we have $680,000 left with... Oh, dude, this is so bad. Uh, what degree are we going to get? We are going to get a degree 23 Goliath Doom ship. So I guess we can give it a shot. But like I said, guys, I don't think it's going to work. Um, And we lost. <laughs> it did a lot of damage to the boss, though. If we just have a way of dealing with, I guess we can like make our Goliath Doom ship like stay back here like we did with the Spectre at the beginning. So let's see what degree we get. We have a degree 27 this time. So this time with the center path, I'm going to keep it towards the back of the map. All right, moment of truth. Oh, this is so sketchy. Our first bombing run is done. Uh, let's go ahead and reset his bombing run over here. Probably like so. And then now we see the deal with these baboons. I almost want to use a ba uh, bombing run to take care of the baboons. But how are we going to deal with the next tier of boss, guys? I honestly have no idea. Oh, my goodness. So bad. There we go. Oh, we took it down so many tiers, dudes. All right. Now let's go ahead and do the bombing run again. I think we'll do it from here to here this time. So the question is, how am I going to do this for the next tier? Like, yeah, we're doing pretty well, but like, we're going to have to deal with 30 million health, guys. How are we going to do it? <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. There's no way we're going to be able to beat the tier five dudes. All right, come on, Goliath Doom Ship. You are boss. You are king. Let's go. Ah, oh, dudes, I just don't know, man. All right, so that is the last tier boss dealt with. Oh, uh, we're losing lives. Why did you stop shooting? Uh, so close. All right, dudes. Attempt number four at the tier four. Uh, let's go ahead and put it back over here. Oh, we're leaking lives already. All right, bombing run. Oh, man, it's just these DDT balloons that are giving us a hard time. Um, I wonder if I micro this and I had him go the other way and I kept him towards, towards, towards the back of the map. If this would work out a little bit better. Um, I need the bombing run. I, I should have dropped the bombing run on top of those bads. We could do this, but I just don't know about the next tier. Uh, all right, this is the run right here, boys. So stressful. Come on, bombing run. No, no, I forgot to change directions. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, we were so close. I just need to change directions one more time so my Goliath Doom ship would have hit those balloons. Uh, Six times the charm. Ugh. All right, guys, I have a singular solution on how to do this. All right, and bear with me for a moment. Bear with me for a moment. All right, dudes, so I have the solution. So let's go ahead and grab the Apex Plasma Master. Whoa, we somehow got degree 100 Apex Plasma Master. Let's go. All right, so I wonder if the degree 100 Apex Plasma Master will allow us to actually beat the tier four Elite Balloon Areas. Man, I knew this was going to be a challenge from the start, dudes. All right. It'd be funny if the degree 100 Apex Plasma Master still isn't enough to take down the tier four balloon areas. Um, I think I want to keep this on targeting only strong, though. Oh, my goodness. Like, our Apex isn't even within range anymore. So, the the, so the answer is no. It, it probably isn't enough. Okay, so that didn't work. Uh, We'll just sell everything again like we did last time. Oh, what's that? A degree 100 Goliath Doom ship? Are you kidding me right now? Hopefully, this is enough to actually deal enough damage to the tier 4 Blunaries to actually beat him. All right, so moment of truth. Is the degree 100 Goliath Doom ship going to be enough to take down the tier 4 Elite Blunarius? On the map geared, of course. All right, so first bomb drop is coming down. Holy moly! That one bomb drop just took down almost all of the Elite Blunarius' health. That's actually crazy, dudes. All right, so the Degree 100 Goliath Doomship might just be a little bit busted. So the real question is, can we take down the Tier 5? I think we can, but we're going to need some more Paragons to help us out here. All right, so round 119, dudes. Let's go ahead and see if we have what it takes to take down the Tier 5 Elite Blunarius. All right, so can the degree of 100 uh, Ascended Shadow as well as the degree of 100 Goliath Doom Ship take down the tier five Elite Blunarius? That's the real question, guys, especially on the map geared. All right, so moment of truth, let's activate the bombs. Oh my goodness, there's so many blues. 
but luckily the ascended shadow is an absolute chad at taking down moab lives on top of that the goliath doom ship is also a chad uh we just need another uh 30 000 to get the apex plasma master and we'll be good so to answer your question about if elite balloon areas on geared if possible i honestly don't know like even if i would have done everything correctly i think we could have beaten tier four but once we got up to tier five i think that's when we would have really started to struggle but there you have it guys we beat blue Nerius on geared using a little bit of cheats but there's that's that's all right but anyways dudes if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like button and of course i'll see you dudes in the next one